Hi, Terry here from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is another sweet card. I've used the Penguin Place stamp set together with the Coordinating Penguin Builder Punch. And I've also used papers from the Penguin Playmates Designer Series Paper Pack. Now this paper pack is one of the free items you can choose with a qualifying purchase during our current celebration promotion. So let's get started. These are all the measurements you need for all the elements required to create this project. So if you're interested in reproducing it, take a screenshot so you can refer to it later. I have some basic black and some basic white card here and I'm going to use the Penguin Builder Punch to punch out the front of the body from the white cardstock and the main body from the black. Then I've also got some crushed curry card and I'm going to punch out two feet. This is the Penguin Place stamp set and today I'm going to use the balloon and the string, the happy birthday sentiment, the heart and the front facing beak and the eyes. I'm going to start by placing the front of the body onto the main body and then I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to stamp the eyes. This way if I mess up I can punch another body and go again. I'm also using the same ink for the sentiment. I've die cut a mat from the Penguin Playmates designer series paper and I'm going to use the same ink again to stamp the string. And you want to go from the top right corner at an, ang at an angle when you stamp this. Now I'll tell you how I created the mat a little later. The balloon will be in Misty Moonlight ink and then the beak will be in Crushed Curry. I can now go ahead and position the front of the body onto the main body and then I can add the feet and I'm going to add the feet in such a way that he looks like he's sitting rather than standing. The sentiment will be die cut using one of the stitched So Sweetly dies and it's the smallest one in this group. I also used another of the dies from this group to create the mat that I stamped on earlier and it's the third size down. The little balloon needs to be cut out by hand. I'm now using Misty Moonlight ink again to stamp two little hearts one either side of the sentiment. You'll need to add dimensionals onto the back of the sentiment. I've already gone ahead and added them onto the back of the die cut mat, the penguin and the top part of the, of the balloon. I can place my sentiment and my penguin I can then add a little wet glue to the bottom part of the balloon and then this can be positioned in the top right corner. I'll then flip it over and add a dimensional. My card base is in misty moonlight and this is half a standard sheet of card scored in the middle and folded to create a portrait card. For inside the card I have a basic white mat and then I'm going to decorate the bottom of it using a strip of Just Jade onto which I'm going to add some of the P Penguin Playmates design series paper. Then for the front of the card I have a Just Jade mat and two additional pieces of the paper and these will be layered together. Then to finish off I've got a very narrow strip of Just Jade that I will use between the paper patterns. Now this is the same length as the other two pieces of paper but it's 
um, very narrow. Just make it as, as narrow as you can, but not so skinny that you can't get glue onto it. And finally, I have my penguin panel. I'm going to add just a little colour into the penguin's cheeks and I'm using the light petal pink stamping blends alcohol marker. And that's my card complete. Here's another look at my original card. The mat I used for this one was in Fresh Freesia and the paper on the right is also Fresh Freesia. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.